What is happening everyone? My name is Phil with Think Bake Do and today we're doing some electrical work here on our mid gear renovation and preparing to install an HVAC system. Now, the electrical requirements for the AC system that I bought, it's a mini split two zone system, is a 240 volt circuit. And right now I only have 120 volts set up on this sub panel here that you see behind me. Now, for a HVAC circuit, you need a couple basic things that are, I would say pretty common in terms of electrical code across the country at least here in the United States. Um, you need an electrical whip. This is a flexible shielded waterproof cable that goes from, um, I guess, your power source to your HVAC system or your outdoor condenser. I've got that. I got a couple connectors here that are for three quarter EMT. I got the butt ends here. I have some rounded corners. I don't have my own two bender. and I didn't figure I would need one for this small of a job, so. I didn't go buy one and I've got three quarter EMT if I need to make a longer connection. And most importantly, I have a shutoff box. This is a can support both 240 volt and 120. Uh, but the point of this thing is so that if there's anyone working on the system, they can come here quickly, turn off the circuit. And you'll know just visually that you're not connected. So if a technician comes out, they are going to be looking for this type of box to ensure that when they touch the electrical system, there's no issues. That's what this is for. And you should probably put this on any outdoor electrical system that you have so that maintenance can be done a little bit easier in the future. That's what this is for. Along with this thing, I have a double pole 25 amp circuit breaker. Now it's double pole because double pole means it has two power wires, which creates your 240 volt system. So double pole means it's got two fuse boxes tied together and you're gonna have two power, one neutral, no ground in a 240 volt circuit. And this is, you know, basic on off switch. So I've got that, that goes into here. This is a square D type panel. This is a square D type fuse panel or fuse breaker, whatever. And then I have some 10 by three cable. Now 10 gauge is what is acceptable to use for 240 volt systems. And I mean, this does come in a shielded cable. You're not necessarily, you don't need to have this shielded. You can just buy the normal spool of wires, red, black, and green, or actually red, black, and white. But um, this is easier for me to acquire than the individual wire spools themselves. So for me, this works. This will go into the EMT. I, again, I got three quarter conduit, which is more than big enough to carry this. And the whole point is this is like a sealed system. That's more important than anything else. Anyway, the first thing we're gonna do is go shut off the power at our main panel, confirm that this has no power, and start doing our work. All right? Uh, is it this? <clears throat> yes. Um, probably this. We'll just turn off both to be safe. How about that? Does this come off? Yeah, it does. Okay. is very messy. Okay, let's talk about this electrical circuit real quick. So, a 240 volt system does not connect to ground. 
you have two power wires or two hot wires. That's our red and our black. And then you have our white, which goes to our neutral bus bar. So those three wires come through here and come to our shutoff switch. And as you can see, my red and my black or my two hot are going to line in on the insides and on the outsides are my line out. It's a little loose. This is my two line outs that go to my whip, which is here. And this is what's going to attach eventually to the AC system. And then as you can see the ground here or the green is what links up here against this just two plug bus bar, white to green. So that's essentially how it works. Uh, 240 volt systems don't need both a neutral and a ground. That's really just for 120 volt systems. I don't know why, uh, that's just the instructions that I read. So that's how I designed it. And um, we can now patch this thing back up. I did go through and tighten a bunch of these connections just to make sure that they're fine. Um, it's kind of an old system. I pretty much have one slot left. This is a 60 amp sub panel. So 60 amp sub panel. I mean, the AC is only going to be running, uh, you know, during the day. So I'm not too concerned about it, I guess, overloading. Um, the operating amperage of the AC system that I got, it's a GRI 2 zone. I think it's like 20 amps and the max amp rating is 25. So my breaker is 25, um, but you're never really going to be using all of that. It's just like that momentary kick on when the generator starts on is when there's that pulse of energy that's needed. Okay, while I have all of my electro supplies out doing the, um, the shutoff valve, the shutoff breaker for that house, the, uh, the one bedroom, I'm also gonna do it for the studio here because this is also gonna get a, a 12,000 BTU uh, mini split system as well. So um, we're gonna repeat the same process here um, at our breaker box. Um, I'll just set you guys up on time-lapse and uh, we'll get this one done too. Let's go over a few things here. This studio unit is going to be using a 120 volt AC system, not a 240 volt, but I bought all the same supplies because they're somewhat compatible. Now, this breaker box is a typically a 240 volt um, on off breaker. However, it is compatible with 120. The main difference between 120 and 240 is the 240 volt has a red and a black for power and a white for or common or ground, well, really just common, um, and that's it. And then a 120 volt system has a black, which is the power, or hot, uh, a white, which is neutral, and then a ground wire. Now, I wanted to keep this flexible, so I bought 10 by three cable, which has red, black, white, and ground. And in this scenario, I have not hooked up the red wire. If you look here, 
for this 120 volt system, the red wire here connects to nothing and the red wire here connects to nothing. And on this panel, the, uh, this power whip is red, black, and green. So what I did is I used the black, so black to black, and then my common or my white is going up here where the other power line would go. All this is doing is bridging the connection on this side, here to here and here to here. So I can use this as the same kind of function. Then I have white going to red, red being white on the whip. So for my 120 volt system, I'm gonna have black, I'm gonna have ground, and I'm gonna have white, which I'm going to uh, tape this so it is white. And I think a motorcycle is running away from the police right now, somewhere over there. That is some crazy noise. Anyway, um, now what I also found out is there is a single wire here connecting to a 40 amp double pole breaker. That means at one point in time, this was a 40 amp that went to some kind of special appliance. But when I look at the unit, there's nothing in there that needs 40 volt. And I'm out of spaces here on this bar or on this circuit breaker. So I'm actually gonna remove this one and replace it with two 20 amp breakers. Now these 20 amp breakers, one of them's gonna go to whatever this is here. Um, you can also see there is some electrical uh, mischief going on. Uh, you should never connect just a single red wire. Um, it looks like they, sp I don't know what they did here, but uh, some of what they did is not correct. And we'll address that in a future kind of, well, we'll address it in the future, but not right now. What we need to do right now is take this off, take this off. I've got two of these 20 amps. We're gonna stick them on here. One's gonna plug back into this and one is gonna plug into my black wire that goes to my box here that is gonna give me power to my whip. And uh, that should be about it, let's do it. On the next episode, we're gonna be installing the GRI mini split air handling systems on both our 240 volt circuit for the one bedroom and the 120 volt circuit shown here on the studio. It's gonna be great content, so like and subscribe and follow to make sure you catch that next episode. I'll see you guys next time.